Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so so much for tuning in. Today is a video where we're going to be talking about I haven't spoken about this makeup category in so long. It could be even a year. Cuz I haven't been Oh wait. That's completely wrong. I just made a video about eyeshadows, but it's always it's 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 always about Cleona or Vizier. But otherwise, I don't really buy anything other than them. I haven't bought from Mac Pat McGrath in like in a year, and I don't think I even bought it last year. Did I buy it last year? No. So it's been two years since I got any other eyeshadow, to be honest. But this is my first eyeshadow purchase besides Cleona or Vizier and this is from kvd beauty because i know they do good products but they are kind of like diminished so much in popularity and they haven't been able to get back to where they were they were like insanely popular right for good reason they kind of like came crashing down but they still make great products so i went ahead and got their brand new launch this is called dazzle gel and this is hyper metallic eyeshadow so um this is eye friendly because it has the eye sign and then it is vegan and it's made in italy oh they usually do they make them in 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 italy i never knew they do uh, anyways but these are made in italy and they retail for 25 dollars around that price range i'm not exactly sure how much i paid for it 24 25 maybe even 26 but it's kind of like it's not over 30 that much i'm positive so there are three shades there's a purple shade, there's a green shade, and there's a blue shade, and they all have like kind of like a black base to it, and they have that intense shimmer going on. That's what I saw, and they're all like named wrong, and the picture is also wrong. So the one I got had a green picture, but the description was blue shift. So I thought picture might be wrong, but the text itself is usually right. So I went for the blue shift but it turns out the text and the description is wrong but the picture is right so the depiction the pictorial representation is right so if you want a purple one click on the purple picture even if it says green or it says blue shift um, so anyways that's just what happened because i got green nebula but i didn't want to get green because that's what it looks like um but I wanted the blue one uh, but anyways I'm gonna have to exchange it for a blue one because blue is my shade right so anyways dazzle sh dazzle gel in the and there's these are hyper metallic shadow the pictures didn't make them look like this basically like a gel you see how like wet that is it's base it's not like a set cream it's wet and there is a very important information that you have to be aware before getting this that is you have to keep this closed because they will dry out so um where where did i see that i saw that somewhere oh yeah close cap tightly after use it says here uh, and uh you probably can't see that but it says close cap tight big I actually did not notice that <laughs> I noticed that after like few days of use using this but uh, anyways so these will dry out and that's kind of like my downside because even with ColourPop Super Shock that was kind of like my downside and those were only five dollars at least back then now I maybe they I'm sure they increase the prices but yeah I got the shade in green nebula and let me tell you how much you get you get six 0.5 grams of product this 0.22 ounce and these are made in italy so let me swatch them today i know you're like where on earth is this um I'm, i don't have it all over my lid but let me come closer i gotta come closer for this i have as my eyeliner i know i'm not the best at eyeliner so do not crucify me about this bad or they're all different shapes this is different that is different i hope you can see the that slight subtle glimmer which is subtle but actually in person and in daylight it is you can see that shimmer and i'm glad that this glitter didn't fall off didn't fall off at all and i'm so so glad that it's like staying in place it's set beautifully and it was incredibly easy to apply it with 
uh, with a brush. It was so easy. It glided on so, so well. And they're not sheer. It's not streaky. I was able to even do two layers, even if I did not have to. I did not have to do two layers. I just did it because I love to. More is more. More, more is like like fun for me when it comes to makeup i'm always going pushing for more so i just did more just for the sake of it just for the fun of it oh now you can kind of like catch a glimpse of that uh green but still it kind of looks black for sure because the base is definitely like intense and it's like super pigmented and the glitter i'm glad it's not like ugh, there's not like too much glitter there i think it's like the perfect amount of glitter if there's too much it, it there might be like fall out and that's 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 not a good look we do not want that so you can even put this on for office uh, as I don't know about the other shades obviously but the green one definitely they are office friendly and you just get a just like a glimmer but it's still visible it's not like the subtlest or anything I'm I promise you you will see that that hint of gold here and there as you like turn your head in person um but i personally if you are someone that likes a little like uh you know like a glamour in an office you can definitely go for this so that's kind of like my quick review quick thoughts on them um i don't want to like rub my finger there but i let me just like touch my hand and let me show it to you there's no transfer see there's no transfer and it did and uh the and the and the lower lash line is not kajal usually i only use kajal lower la uh lower lashes but this time i want to try it and it came out beautifully and it was the easiest easiest it glided on so beautifully it wasn't runny but at the same time it wasn't caking or anything it was a dream to put it on so yeah but the question is because it says um to keep the cap tightly closed after a month or so or a couple of months we've got to it just have to wait and see if this texture and this consistency changes and if it changes how it affects the application so yeah so yeah i i, I personally I know I always put it on my lid and just come and show you guys. That's more like a swatch, but I feel uh, applying it as an eyeliner, it has more uh, challenges and more duties. I think an, an, an eyeliner has more duties than an eyeshadow because it has to glide on well, because you're applying with a delicate brush, it has to set beautifully without transferring. So I thought let's try this out as an eyeliner and come and show you guys. So yeah. That's why I thought I'd just do it something different. I hope you don't mind because for, for swatches, I can always like show it to you um, as a swatch. And I do not know if it, this is marketed as an eyeliner. This is just an eye base. Oh, it's an eyeshadow. But because of the consistency, I thought, let me try it as an eyeliner. So I hope you like it. So I'm gonna take, and it sets beautifully. It's like a rich, rich forest green. Oh, that is a lipstick that I just like reviewed recently just like a few minutes ago so that's what that looks like over the side I kind of like moved um, after I did the original swatch here I kind of like move the rest of it so you can see what that glitter looks like but i'd say to keep things safer just like do swatches on this on the say as one streak because you want the base is where the glitter is kind of like adhering to so you don't want the glitter separate and it i don't know it might cause a fallout i don't i'm not sure i'm just like making an educated guess that's what it looks like it's very pretty and it actually looks very green in a concentrated form but on my eyes you can see it's like it doesn't exactly look very green it looks like definitely black so that is a swatch and it it does set it does set and it doesn't move as you guys like saw i kind of like touched it and you can see there's nothing on my finger so i hope this video was helpful 
Are you considering getting something like this or are you in mood for this? Let me know down below in the comment section and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.